important and vital information about your upcoming Carnival Cruise. That's what we're going to talk about coming up. Okay, vital information about your upcoming Carnival Cruise. Now, if you are with us for the first time, my name is Kelly, and here on the Travel Scouts, we are your cruise information channel, so subscribe if you love cruising. Now, if you are new to cruising or you haven't cruised with Carnival since the shutdown, I really wanted to make a video that was special for you. So that's what this video is going to be about. But if you are a seasoned cruiser and you have recently went on a Carnival cruise, I don't want you to click out because I need y'all's help. I think we are a big cruise community and we all benefit more when we can all share tips and ideas. So for those of you that are seasoned cruisers, go ahead and watch this video to the end. And then in the comment section, I would like you to add your favorite cruise tip that you feel like is very important for new cruisers to know. And if you're a new cruiser, sit back, grab a notebook and a pen and get ready to take some notes. And we really hope that this video will give you a really good idea of what you need to be prepared and make sure that your cruise is amazing. Um, so we value your time. Let's get started. Okay, number one, after you book your cruise, it's really, really important to fill out your vaccination survey. Now, this can be found by going on carnival.com and you simply click on manage my booking and then you click on open planner and there you're going to see a to-do list and you click on the survey and you need to fill this out for every single person that is in your cabin. There's three um, selections. You're either going to be fully vaccinated, you're going to be not fully vaccinated without an exemption, or you're going to be uh, not fully vaccinated with an exemption. So make sure you get that done. Um, that's very important and your cruise can actually get canceled um, if you don't fill that out in a timely manner. And we don't want your cruise to get canceled. That would be bad. Okay, number two, let's talk about vaccination status. Now, at the time of this video, Carnival is still operating vaccinated cruises. Now, they are allowing exemptions for a very small number of children 12 and under and also for teens and adults that have a medical reason why you cannot get a vaccination. If you need to file an exemption, Carnival is accepting exemption requests for sailings all the way through December of 2022. Now, it is very important to note that you cannot file for an exemption until your cruise has been paid in full. So as soon as your cruise is paid in full, go ahead and submit that form for your vaccine exemption. Now, if you wanna know what that form is, I am actually going to put the link to the form uh, in the video description below so you guys can check that out. It is also really important to note that Carnival considers you fully vaccinated if you've received your second dose at a minimum of 14 days prior to sailing. So you cannot count embarkation day as one of those 14 days. So make sure that you check your dates very carefully because if you show up to board on Carnival cruise ship and you had your last vaccination 13 days, um, you are going to be denied boarding. So check that carefully. Now, during check-in on embarkation day, you are going to be required to show proof that you have had your COVID vaccinations and that you are fully vaccinated. And I do wanna add also that Carnival at this time is not requiring boosters. So let everybody know that as well. Um, so there are several ways that you can provide proof of your vaccination status. Um, you can use the original vaccination record issued by your country's health authority. You can use a digital COVID COVID-19 certificate or a record of COVID-19 vaccination from a healthcare provider. Um, it cannot be photocopied or it cannot be like if you take a picture on your phone, Carnival will not accept that. Now, also I tell all of my guests that I book travel for to make sure take out that COVID card and look at the COVID card and make sure that the card has your name and that it matches uh, exactly the name that you have on your cruise ticket as well as the date of birth. And also it needs to have on there the dates that the vaccination was given and what type of vaccination was received. And lot numbers must be clearly visible. Now, when Jason and I have sailed, um, we have bought these little um, COVID protector cases. Um, obviously we 
the lanyard doesn't come with it, but um, you can get these really, really cheap on Amazon. You can get like packs of 10 or 20 or something like that. So these are just really nice to have. If you wanna order some of these, I will put a link um, in the video description below and you guys can get some of these. Okay, now let's talk about online check-in. So you've got your cruise booked and you're getting close to sale date. You can check in online 14 days prior to your sale date. Now, if you are a platinum or a diamond card holder, then you are allowed to check in 16 days before your sale date. Now, I do have a lot of people ask me like, okay, I really wanna get an early boarding time. How do I do that? Well, it's first come first serve on check-in. So I would advise you that if you really wanna get that earliest time, then go ahead and check in right after midnight on the 14th day prior to sailing, and that will give you your best opportunity to get the earliest check-in time. Okay, now let's talk about some of our travel documents. Um, I recommend, even before you book your cruise, to go ahead and check your passport, make sure you know where it's at and that it's not expired. Now, if you don't have a passport, that is okay. Um, you will just need to be able to pr provide a photo, identification, and a birth certificate. And so many times, people think they know where their birth certificate is and then come sailing day, oh my goodness, I can't find it. So go ahead and make sure you know where those documents are, check and make sure they are not expired, and then book your cruise. Now, if you want more specifics on the travel documentation that you're gonna need, Jason has done an outstanding video that talks about all the travel documents, um, and I'm going to put that up in the link up here, and then I am also going to put it in our video description, so you can check out that video after you watch this one. Okay, now let's talk about COVID testing. Um, you are required to show proof of a negative COVID test no more than two days prior to sailing. So for example, if your cruise is sailing on Saturday, then you can test either on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, but I would never recommend testing the day of your cruise. I always recommend testing it the two days before your cruise because that gives you the longest amount of time to get your uh, test result back. Now, a lot of people, if you are nervous about getting that test result back, a lot of people I have been telling, if you really want that peace of mind, um, you can order one of the proctored at home tests. And again, Jason has done a really, really good video about this. So I will put that video up here in the, in the link and then I'll also add it in the video description below. You can check out more information if you prefer to do a home proctored test. Now, Carnival has recently added a new rule um, regarding providing proof of your negative COVID. Um, they have said that if you have tested positive for COVID in the last 90 days, um, then you do not have to do a pre-cruise COVID test. Um, if they are, if you are at least 10 days past the positive test result and you've had no symptoms, and you have to produce documentation of recovery from COVID-19. So again, there's a, a, a little bit more specifics that you have to provide. You've got to get a doctor's note and stuff like that. Um, you can go onto the Carnival website, um, onto their health and sailing protocol, and you can read more about that if you would like more information. Okay, now let's talk about the Carnival Hub app. Um, you are going to need this app um, when you get on your cruise. You can do everything on this app. You can pull up Carnival menus, you can um, book things, spa treatments, specialty dining, um, all of that. You can see what's going on for the day. So you're definitely gonna need the Hub app. Um, go ahead and download it before you even get on the ship so you will be ready to go when you board. Okay, now let's talk about dining time. So basically Carnival offers you three different dining options and the first two dining options are assigned time dining. And assigned time dining basically means that you are going to be assigned a table, you're going to be there every night at a specific time. It will always be the same guest at that same table. So Carnival offers two different assigned time dinings. They have an early, which is at six o'clock, and then they have a late, which is an 8.15. Now they also have another option, it's called My Time Dining. And My Time Dining gives you the flexibility to show up for dining whenever you want. So basically you have a very large window from about 5.45 to about 9.15 to dine in that open window. So a lot of guests are starting to prefer that just because it gives you a whole lot of flexibility. Now I'd like to add a tip here. If you're cruising on the Mardi Gras, I would definitely recommend My Time Dining. 
And the reason why is because if you have assigned time dining, specifically the early dining time, um, you are not going to be allowed to make a reservation for specialty dining until after 7.30. So it really limits your options as far as like if you wanna do something different aside from the main dining room. So definitely I would recommend your time dining if you're cruising on the Mardi Gras or the celebration or the Jubilee. <laughs> if you're getting any benefit from this video, please hit that thumbs up button and also consider sharing with anybody that may find this video helpful. Okay, I'm really, really excited about this one. This is a new one for Carnival. Um, and basically come March 15th, this is gonna be available for all sailings across the fleet. And what it is is Carnival has now given you the option that um, before you get on the ship, you can purchase things with your onboard credit. If you have any onboard credit, I know so many of us have had cruises canceled and we have a lot of onboard credit that we wanna spend. And in the past, you really weren't able to spend that until you got on the ship. But now um, you can go on Carnival's website and you can book an excursion, you can book spa treatments, you can book specialty dining, and you go through the whole process up to the very end to the payment spot. And then if you have any available onboard credit, you'll have an option there to select use my onboard credit. So love that, way to go Carnival. Okay, here's another tip regarding making purchases before you get on the ship. Uh, if you wanna buy the Wi-Fi package or the drink package, um, if you get those before you get on the ship you're going to save roughly 10 percent and who doesn't love saving money right <laughs> okay this next one i feel like is one of the most important and as a travel advisor i just have to tell you i've heard so many bad stories um for pe from people that have not purchased travel insurance but this one is purchase travel insurance. You can either purchase it through um, Carnival Cruise Lines, um, they have a vacation travel protection plan, or you can purchase it from an outside vendor. I really like Roamrite, they have excellent customer service. Um, they will cover more of your vacation than just the actual cruise, um, and they have really, really good rates. So if you're interested in what it would cost, get you a quote for travel insurance, I'm going to put Roamrite's link in the description below, um, and you guys can just check that out. Um, feel free to email me, thetravelscouts at gmail.com if you have questions about travel insurance, but, definitely get some type of travel insurance. And also, um, there is a limit to how late you can add on travel insurance. So I would advise going ahead and as soon as you book your cruise, just go ahead and buy that travel insurance. You will have it and you will be happy that you did if something happens. Okay, my next tip for you is that if you are going to be flying into your cruise port, you really should consider flying in the day before. Um, and this volatile time of cancellations and delays and all of that with the flights, you don't want to have the stress um, of you know a delayed flight or a canceled flight on the day of your cruise and miss your cruise. So, you know, give yourself a little bit of extra time schedule that flight the day before your cruise stay in a hotel the night before you'll wake up you'll feel refreshed you'll be ready to go and you won't have to deal with that like ah, you know running to the cruise ship hoping you can make it in time so book the day before okay let's talk about gratuities so people that have never cru cruised before um may not know but uh carnival charges uh gratuities and you can either prepay those gratuities or it will be added onto your sale and sign card at the end of your cruise. Now, gratuities are $13.99 per person per day um, in a regular stateroom. They're $15.99 per person per day if you're staying in a suite. Jason and I like to personally, we just like to go ahead and prepay them and you know get that out of the way and we know there that it's paid and done. And then also a lot of people say like, why well, really, I really wanna pay more. I had you know an amazing cabin steward or I had you know an amazing dining staff and they were just so good. And really truly the crew is part of what makes your cruise so very amazing. So yes, you can absolutely tip more. I have heard so many really cool stories how people have come up with creative ways um, to tip maybe their cabin steward or, or their dining staff or whatever. So yes, you can definitely tip more if you would like. Now here's something maybe first time cruisers aren't aware of, and that is if 
you book an early saver rate and the price of your cruise drops, then you can actually get that lower rate. Um, now, as a travel agent, this is something that I can do very easy for you. I have guests all the time that shoot me a text or an email and say, Kelly, um, my rate just dropped by like $400 and I just get on the computer real quick, enter in a couple things and you know, got, got the booking repriced at the lower rate and saves them a lot of money. One of the benefits of using a travel advisor is that we can take care of all that stuff for you. It doesn't cost you anything extra um, and it saves you the time and hassle of having to call in Carnival yourself and get things taken care of. Um, so here's the deal with, with repricing your cruise. Um, if you reprice your cruise before final payment, uh, it just it just comes off of the, the difference and you just don't have to pay as much on final payment. Um, if you've already paid your cruise in full and the price drops, basically the difference in the reprice, it will just be given to you as onboard credit. Either way, it's a win-win. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about packing. Um, so many times people will overpack or they will end up not packing maybe some necessities that they really probably should have brought to make their cruise more comfortable. So we have published for you guys the ultimate cruise planning guide. Um, it includes packing lists, it includes a budget planner, and it includes a timeline. We feel like it's a pretty comprehensive document. So if you would like a copy of one of those, I'm going to put the link in the description below. All you gotta do is enter your email and it will come to you in a PDF format. Okay, those are the things that I think are absolutely pertinent for you guys to know in order to have an amazing cruise. Now, all you veteran cruisers that have been cruising for a while, go ahead and drop your favorite tip in the comments section below and let all of our new cruisers know what is your favorite tip when sailing on a carnival cruise. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you on the sea soon. God bless.